Simon's getting the last known footage of us alive. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the vlog where I try and work out what the hell to do with a PhD. As you might have noticed, I'm not in my studio. I'm actually in Edinburgh. I'm on holiday here with Pixel Girl. Um, we've arrived on separate flights. She's flown in from Cambridge, I've flown in from Bristol. And uh, I need to pick her up. So we are in Edinburgh on a quick little holiday. I'm here with Pixel Girl, who I'm going to show as briefly as possible to minimise my editing work. We just had an amazing breakfast. Uh, l l Ludons? Ludons. If you're in Edinburgh, highly recommend Ludons. I just realised my, my coat has two sets of pockets, and this is going to be really happy. So this holiday is basically going to be us doing very little, just being a little bit cultural, and generally not worrying about work. Because I always have a go at Pixel Girl for working too much, and she always has a go at me for working too much. So let's fix that. You can go in the castle, yeah. Do you want to go in the castle? Yeah! Oh look, it's that Hogwarts boy. <laughs> look at all these chickens! So fun fact, we nearly went on a holiday to Gran Canaria. Uh, I wanted to take Pixel Girl away from work, and be like somewhere warm and sunny. We compromised because she didn't want to go anywhere too far from home for too long. It's like minus two degrees in Edinburgh. I regret that decision. Now we're going to go on Disney's latest interactive ride, finding Nemo May Impune Lassicid. We found him. <laughs> well, that was easy. So that was us just doing Edinburgh Castle. Um, <laughs> just, just a reminder, we could have been in the Canary Island. <laughs> but somebody... <laughs> So this is the largest private whiskey collection in the world. I don't even know how many bottles there are. I will have to put a thing on the screen saying how many bottles there are. We just did a whiskey tasting, which is... How's yours? Lovely. Cheers. So that's our first day in Edinburgh done. Um, the way that we do holidays, uh, at least for the past couple of months, has been to get an Airbnb. So this is our, our Airbnb. It's a very nice little uh, place in the middle of Edinburgh. Um, basically, get really cheap flights, get an Airbnb, and then, uh, yeah, you're, you're away. So it's, it's a nice cheap little trip. And what we're gonna do tonight is we got a bunch of food. Got like a meal deal from M&S. So we're gonna have a quiet night in, and uh, then tomorrow, I'm not even sure what we're gonna do. We'll make this stuff up as we go. <gasps> Thank you. Welcome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we made our own restaurant. Cheers. Cheers. Big cheers. Hang on, I'll be both of us. Oh, I'm really sexy. I'm not. <laughs> that is not nice out there. So we're currently in a hair salon because an incident happened yesterday where basically I was washing Liv's hair for her. It's a very nice couple thing to do, but we didn't bring any shampoo or conditioner with us. We picked up two things of Aussie. I looked for the two bottles when I was washing and I was like, oh, that was the conditioner, so obviously I'll use this one. Turned out we bought two bottles of conditioner. <laughs> Uh, except one was normal conditioner, one was extreme conditioner. <laughs> Without even putting shampoo on first, I basically... Extreme conditioning. Extreme conditioned Pixel Girl's hair. <laughs> so it is, um... How did you describe it this morning? Heavy. Let's, let's have a quick look. Our solution was rather than buy shampoo and do it again, we'll just get a haircut. Get a work cut done. So that's why we're here. <laughs> Holiday. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. That's much nicer. I mean, it was lovely to begin with. Thank you. For the record, bloody cold. <laughs> We're spending a lot, of the, a lot of this trip indoors. We're going to go to the National Museum of Scotland now.
<laughs> let's go to the Scots. Uh, the, the, the Scottish bit, are you going to say? Yes. A zoo exhibit. It's like we've trapped a robot. It's going for its mating display. <laughs> or it's flipping us the bird. There's a massive variety of different um, subjects that they're going through in here. Like loads of. Oh, that's so cool! I feel like if I was to offer a critique of the museum here, it would be that it's trying to do too much. Like the science stuff downstairs is great. There's loads of exhibits here which are hands on and get kids involved. And there's also stuff for adults, but it's just like. It doesn't feel intensely curated enough to do all of these subjects enough justice. But I'm really enjoying it, especially for a free museum, this is amazing. Oh, what, well, there's a whole extra physics bit up here? And some of you may have seen my tweet about this uh, exhibit here, which basically, if you tweet at it, it makes music. And uh, it kind of went into a slight delirium after I, I tweeted it, which was, was kind of fun. Great idea, like, for an interactive museum piece. So I didn't film it, because we're having a nice little date thing. But we just went to an Indian restaurant called Dishoom, which was like Indian with Zoroastrians, like Persian influences. We both agree that may have been the nicest meal we've ever had. <laughs> like, the dessert, as I said to the guy who cleared away my dessert, I was like, my life is different now. <laughs> I had a chocolate pudding with a chili ice cream. But even before then, we had like char grilled. Oh my god, look how pretty it is! <laughs> I know I am. But the whole thing, Dishoom, If you're in, if you're in Edinburgh, highly recommendable. Or Jesus. London, or, or somewhere else, Cardiff maybe. Yeah. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> oh my god, I literally can't get over it. Now, we're gonna go and meet up with a YouTuber. Um, <laughs> he's a bit bigger than me. So I just had a lovely drink with Sam. Is this the second ever time your face has been revealed on the internet? Because this will be out in a couple of weeks. Third. Third. This is Sam from Wendover Productions. Fourth. Fourth. It's a it's we'll a see. n grade less than ten times that his yes. face has been on the internet. So you're studying in Edinburgh, more or less. Uh, yeah, but apparently he's studying in Edinburgh, and you're doing international business. Yeah. But what you really do is run an amazing YouTube channel. A few. Oh yeah, of course. Okay, so maybe only actually <laughs> only one of them is actually pretty decent. <laughs> Wendover Productions. Mm-hmm. Ten minute ish, fifteen minute ish. Explainer videos about planes mostly. Well, yeah, some other stuff too. Half as interesting. That's like the that's the very low quality. Uh, it's like a meme channel, except we, we it's not a meme channel. It's like if you took an educational channel and made it worse. So it's my channel. And then you've uh -huh. also got the Showmakers podcast. Is that it? Uh, probably. Oh, and, and my personal channel. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I forgot you had that. It was your experience with doing the video with Neil deGrasse Tyson. Yes, I it was, was on a video there. with Neil deGrasse Tyson. Plug, plug, plug. I look very nervous in it. Yeah, you threw your back out. Just before was your excuse? Yeah, and it was my first on-camera video, and I was sitting next to the grass Tyson. So don't judge him too heavily. But I will leave a link to that video down below. And yeah, it was just nice to have a drink with you. You're off to yeah. America tomorrow. I am. Yeah. So we send him off. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> We're more than a little drunk right now, but it's very pretty. <laughs> The fact, the, the fact that you keep. What do you mean that's not? The, what did you think it was? <laughs> so the sun's finally come out. And it reminds me that Edinburgh is actually a really pretty city, which is why we decided to come here. We've not got very long. We're going to try and get to Arthur's Seat, which is, well, you'll see. So that's the bustling modern city of Edinburgh. And then 180 degrees behind, that's Arthur's Seat. We're going up that. So we're both flying out this afternoon, which means we don't have very long. We're literally going to be going up here the quickest, shortest possible route coming down by the shortest possible route and being up the top like two minutes. But it'll be worth it. Oh, of course. This is what the, well, smells just like sun, suntan lotion. This is 
so pretty. Slightly dangerous, but pretty. A bit like Pixel Girl. Sorry, we're just gonna walk off into the sky now. All right? <laughs> You're having fun. You're not having fun. I don't like heights. Why did you agree to climb a mountain? Okay, wow, I'm badly lit. Okay, so, back in the office. Actually, this is quite a bit later. Um, I have been doing emails and like getting back up to speed since being back. Uh, it's amazing how much stuff builds up in like three days. It's also amazing how much better you work when you're not exhausted. Like, I'm actually, I just smashed through a bunch of tasks that definitely would have taken me longer before the holiday. Like, rest is important, it turns out. Who knew? So I've got tonight and I've got tomorrow uh, until the evening to get a whole bunch of stuff done, including this uh, Black Holes video, which is, I'd say, 60-70% edited. Um, a lot of the groundwork's been done, I've now just got to finish it off. Because I've only got the, this period of time because tomorrow I'm going off on a stag do. It's going to be a very, very geeky stag do. <laughs> So in sharp contrast to yesterday, and, well, every other day this week, which has been nice and relaxed, today has been so stressful. My legion grow glowing computer behind me is currently rendering the most recent episode of the Wikicast, which I've just edited in the biggest rush. Um, three people, two hours, not a problem, it's fine. It's fine. In addition to that, I've also edited 80% now of the um, science video, the Black Holes video. Again, I could have slapped it together and released it, um, which would be better for me. And I'm, you know, I know that the, um, my sponsor doesn't mind, you know, just take as long as it takes to make a good video. I know they'd rather have something out, but, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to put something out that I'm not happy with. So. Taking my time with the, with the stuff for that, but I think it's really good. I've actually saved it more in the edit than I thought I would actually. Like, I changed the script around, as you saw in the last vlog, loads. But, um, camera's really high. But I've also saved it uh, in the editing, and I found a few things where it's like, oh, hang on, no, no, just move that around a little bit. Like, cut that section. Um, it's much more streamlined than it was. I think it's a much, much stronger video. But it's not done. It, it isn't even rendering. This is the the wiki cast that's that's rendering. So now I've got a few minutes to uh, wolf some food down me and pack and now I'm getting on a train to London. <laughs> He's lost one of his arms, I remember he's lost that one. Hand. He's lost a hand! <laughs> Look at that! Oh. So I just got in... Oh wow, you've like... done, done a few, done a few! <laughs> I just got in, uh, but just past midnight, and uh, this is the the birthday boy here. Even though it's past midnight, he was like, just get, immediately started having a look at my miniatures. So, it's begun already. This is going to be the next two days. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> so, where have these been living for the past, like, ten years? In my bedroom. In this box? In this box, yeah. Oh, okay, these, cool. these have barely seen the light of day. Wow, they will see more than the light of day now. You're going to see the glory of battle. Oh, yeah, the glory of battle. Pilgrimage. Yes. Oh, all right.
my teeth. <laughs> oh, oh nice. I thought that's an old school reference. <laughs> okay, so some explaining probably needs to be done at this point. This weekend was a stag do, and for those of you that don't know what that means, a stag do is the party that uh, a groom traditionally goes on with his male friends before getting married. Now, stag do's normally are activities which are inherently manly in some way, so uh, going somewhere and getting ridiculously drunk, or going paintballing, or going whitewater rafting, something like that. We went to Warhammer World. For those of you that are blissfully unaware, Warhammer World is the kind of global nexus of the Games Workshop hobby community. And Games Workshop is this company that's existed in the UK for decades, making a variety of things, but the most famous uh, is the tabletop game Warhammer. So this is tiny miniatures uh, and you fight battles against each other with a set of rules. Um, the, each miniature is worth a certain number of points and you know each, uh, each person has armies that are worth certain amounts of points and then there are rules that determine how those miniatures interact with each other. So it's a lot of dice rolling to determine whether weapons hit or weapons cause wounds or you know armor saves people um, and it's, it's kind of organized fun basically. Warhammer Warhammer World is like a physical manifestation of that hobby. Um, it's a place that has dozens and dozens of gaming tables that are pre-made with beautiful scenery you can bring your miniatures to and play games on. There's a bar, there are several stores including uh, stuff that you can't get anywhere else. I've played Warhammer for quite a long time. I took a bit of a, some time off um, uh, because of I got a girlfriend and I went to university, uh, but now I have the time to actually sort of start, you know, th thinking about getting back into it. Uh, whereas other people, like my friend Joe, who is getting married, and some of his friends from home, they've played it the whole way through. So they had these big armies which they brought. We played a game um, using their stuff on the Saturday. Now, you might wonder why I'm not explaining this to you from Warhammer World, and that's because Warhammer World has very strict rules about filming. It actually says no filming of any kind whatsoever. So what I've tried to do is pepper this foot this this thing, me talking to the camera, with stuff from Warhammer World that could have been shot anywhere. So it's only using our miniatures, it's only um, showing us, um, not trying to infringe on other people, um, because I imagine a lot of it in Games Workshop is to do with minors in the background, people who don't give their consent to be filmed, it's just easier to issue a blanket ban. So I've tried to be as respectful as possible, I do realise I'm technically bending the rules for Games Workshop, the stuff that I filmed could have been filmed anywhere, I'm trying to do you a solid, please don't sue me. So we played a game of Age of Sigma, which is a new gaming system that I was completely new to, but I borrowed some of their miniatures. Um, and then we were getting drinks the entire way. Uh, so we, we were getting drinks from the bar. And then in the bar later, we played a different game, uh, which was one of the, the newer ones, uh, about gladiatorial combat, which was really fun. <laughs> After that, we then went back to our hostel, which I can show you, but isn't terribly pleasant viewing. Simon's getting the last known footage of us alive. <laughs> <laughs> so because this is a stag do, uh, everything's been organised kind of kind of on the, on the cheap. Uh, I'm very grateful for the people that have organised this. We are however all going to die because this is our hostel. Um, <laughs> I'm getting a very monster mash feeling about this place. Oh, this is where they feed us at the bottom. <laughs> Yeah, the tray comes in. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is oh god, <laughs> that's where we're gonna go. We're gonna go and live on the farm. <laughs> they, can't, they can't hear our screams from that. Day. I swear, if exactly. it, lets, it lets the blood drip down. If there's a drain on the floor for our blood, I'm out. It feels like freshly painted. Uh, yeah, it's freshly painted over bloodstains. Mm. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <no. laughs> Joe, Joe, like a street level view, like trying to claw his way out. <laughs> Just split up and search for clues. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we can get out across the rooftops here. That's good. Look yeah, at these beds. Jesus, oh, the, the barcodes are still on it from the bathroom components. Well, hopefully, we'll survive the night. We're going to go out for a drink. I'll see you tomorrow. So Sunday was spent again at Warhammer World, which means I can't show you what we were doing, but we were playing a different game. We played a gigantic game of Warhammer 40,000, which is the game system that I played and am getting back into. And so I had my miniatures, which had been in storage for years and years, on the battlefield in, in full glory, arrayed against this gigantic army that Marty had brought of Iron Warriors. Uh, and, you know, we were basically just making up the rules as we went because... 
we didn't have time to look everything up because the, the, our, the battle was so big. But we had a really, really great time. Uh, it was the most fun, like the geekiest fun I've had in so long, just to be like rolling dice and, and, and taking names. I may have put these guys down a little bit wrong, because these guys are all looking out at the enemy. And this is Rocky Launcher dude. As I posted on my Twitter, I refuse to apologise for geeky passion. This is the kind of thing that I love doing, and I realise that it's not everyone's cup of tea. A lot of people think that it's incredibly dorky and I should be like ashamed of doing it, but it's it's something that doesn't do anyone any harm, it's something that I get a lot of pleasure from, and I think it's something that has a lot of merits to it, like there are artistic merits, painting the miniatures, there's social merit, engaging with other people, and playing a game, and having fun. Uh, and so, I don't care that some people think that it's, it's dorky, I will gladly put this in the vlog, and if I get back into the hobby in a serious way, I'm going to talk about it then. I refuse to apologise for geeky passion. And that's basically what Sunday was all about. The night before, by the way, we went to an amazing pub. It was an Edgar Allan Poe themed metal pub. So playing metal music all the time, and I think we just missed the live music, but it was like, it was dank in the original meaning of the word. Uh, it was called The Pit and the Pendulum, if you're in Nottingham, which is where we were. I don't think I've said that yet. And in order to get to the bathrooms in this place, you had to go through a bookcase. It was like a secret door. It was, it was, it was very cool. Eventually though, we had to pack everything up. We made a bunch of purchases of varying amounts in the in the Games Workshop uh, store. And then we parted ways and made our ways home. Knowing that we were gonna see each other the following week, which is great because I really like these guys, but um, it, took, it took a little while to get home. It's 1 a.m. So I guess it's, you know, Monday, but shush. Still counting this as Sunday. And I just got off my bus, came, Came home via a Heathrow airport, of all places, and got back via a lift, two trains and a bus, and uh, now it's so amazingly quiet. The only thing you can probably hear is my camera failing to camera because it's so dark, even though I'm in full view. There we go. I'm really rather tired. <laughs> I've got a lot to do tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a big day of work. I'm looking forward to getting a video out. Uh, next week I've also got uh, Joe's wedding to go to, um, so another trip away. Uh, but next week's going to be a lot of work, and work is what I do well, what I'm looking forward to. So, I'm going to end this here, I'm going to go and go home, walk, walk for about half an hour, and get back home, and then, uh, yeah, get some sleep. Thank you very much for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it, give it a like if you did, um, and uh, join me again next episode for a... Uh, the next instalment of me trying to work out what the hell I'm supposed to do with this PhD. Thank you for watching. See you then.